Youth in the southwest region of the country have berated the Senate President Ahmed Lawan over his position on the lingering crisis between Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and the federal government. The youth under the aegis of Odua Youth Coalition, OYC, described as faulty the statement credited to Lawan that the 2009 agreements between ASU and federal government was unrealistic and vowed to barricade federal roads across southwest state if the government refused to yield to the demands of ASU within seven days. Speaking during a press briefing in Akure, the Indo state capital, the national president of the group, Tayo Olui Akintade, who was flanked by the group's national publicity secretary, Benga Ajongbolo, stated that the Senate was a member of the National Assembly when the agreement was reached. The refusal of the federal government to accede to this request has impacted negatively on tertiary education and future of Nigeria. We use this medium to inform the federal government that Yoruba youths are tired of staying at home. We thereby give the Nigerian government seven days to reach a compromise with ASU and return our students to campuses, or we shut down all federal roads in the West. We value education in Yoruba land, and we won't watch the effort of our heroes past go to waste. We have seen that for years, these people do not actually listen to dialogues. They do not actually listen to people that come to them to, to ask questions. I think they understand that when things are turned upside down, they, they respond. And I think this is, this is the approach we are taking. And I'm very, very sure, I'm confident that after this, well, this is our plan to, to block all the federal roads in the southwest, I think they will, they, will, they will respond to our request. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.